In this video, we're going to have a look at how to order, compare and round off decimals. When you need to order or compare decimal fractions, it is useful to make sure that all of them have the same number of decimal places. In our first example, we have 4,8, which has one decimal, and we need to compare that with 4,08 having two decimals. Remember that adding a zero at the end of a decimal has no influence on the size of the number. So we can start off by writing 4,8 with an extra zero. Now we can compare this to our 4,08. Two decimals show us hundredths. So here we are comparing 480 hundredths with 408 hundredths. 480 is bigger than 408, therefore 4,8 will also be bigger than 4,08. In example 2, both values have two decimals, which means we will be comparing hundreds. We need to compare minus 343 with minus 298. Minus 343 is a smaller value than minus 298 and we will then say that minus 3,43 is also smaller than minus 2,98. Example 3. Arrange in ascending order, which of course means from smallest to biggest. Here we have common fractions as well as decimal fractions. So the first step is to rewrite the common fraction of a third as a decimal fraction. And it's good to just know by heart that a third is 0, 0,3 recurring. When looking at the decimal values, you will see that the largest amount of decimals will be three places. So I'm going to write a third as 0, 0,333. Then we have the 0, 0,303. And lastly, we have 0, 0,29. And here I'm going to add a 0 to ensure that they all have three decimals. So now we need to compare 333 thousandths with 303 and 290 thousandths. So the smallest value will be 0, 0,29. Next, we have 0, 0,303. And finally, the 0, 0,333, which is actually a third. In video 2 of whole numbers, we also had a look at rounding. So I'm just going to remind you that when rounding a decimal, we focus on the decimal to the right of that to determine what has to happen to our specific decimal. If the digit to the right is a 5 or bigger, it means the value to the left should also increase. But if the value on the right is smaller than 5, the one on the left stays constant. So let's have a look at example 4. Firstly, we need to round to two decimal places. For this, we're going to focus on the third decimal in the number that we were given, and that is a 6. This value is bigger than 5, which means that the 4 in front of it, our second decimal, has to increase as well, and that becomes 2,85. In question 2, we need to round to the nearest tenth. Our tenth will be the first decimal, and that means we need to focus on the second decimal, which is a 4. This is smaller than 5, so our rounded answer will be 2,8. Remember that to the nearest tenth means we are looking at 84, and we need to decide whether this value is closer to 80 or to 90, and that is why we say 2,8.